Hi everyone, it's Maplebush Stables here, and today I'm going to be repainting this Arabian mare. Um, I'm not really going to be teaching you guys how to do this, because this is my first time. Um, I've decided to do this model because um, I am, she's white, and I already have another of these models, so it is a repeat. Um, this is my first time doing it. So, if I do it badly, please, guys, don't take this as a tutorial video. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, on this little paper plate here, I'm just gonna, um, mix some paints, um, a good color of paint that I want. Sort of for a base coat, I'm gonna mix it in with some white, just so it's a little lighter, because using the pastels, I'm gonna make it a little darker using the shading. Um, so I'm really excited for this. Again, this is my first project. Please don't take this as a tutorial. <laughs> So I'm just gonna, I got a um, pretty desired color. If you couldn't guess by now, I'm kind of going for a Palomino look. This is just the base, and then, um, I'm as I said, I'm gonna fix it up with pastels. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the entire horse. <laughs> I noticed that I forgot to wash this horse before I did this, so that's not very good of me to do that. Um, whoop! gonna get for now because I have to let it dry um I didn't do her head because I couldn't really have any way of holding it I mean I suppose I could hold it on the tail but that just gets all over my hands um and I'm just painting the whole thing right now so no there's well I'm gonna do go do something to get myself busy while this dries hi guys <clears throat> so it's been about half an hour, and um, I put it under this box so dust doesn't settle on it. Uh, I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh, she put it on like the hoofs and stuff, but that's okay because I'm actually going to paint the hoofs a different color. Um, I looked up some photos while I was waiting um, and watched a couple of Schleck videos, um, so those helped me out. Um, I actually really like how this is turning out so far. I don't know if you can see it that good on camera, but it's a really, like, good color, and I really like it a lot for a Palomino. Um, so I just put my brush over here, um, and I'm just gonna keep painting. <laughs> Basically, the entire thing is painted, um, the base coat. I really like how this color is turning out. <laughs> I know I said that a lot of times, but it's true. Um, so, I'm just gonna start shredding um, these pastels here when it's drying. So, here we go. <laughs> expected uh, I don't I don't know what I was expecting either um, so there's a lot of it on the side here cuz not a lot of it actually came into the bowl I'm just gonna scrape that down that helped um, now I'm debating on whether I should add water or not um, 
because I have a little paintbrush here. This is used for, this is going to be used for mostly shading the horse. Um, because if I look at it, and I think it's going to be a little darker. Um, you know, maybe I'll dip it in the water here. Wipe it off a little. And try a little bit. So, um, I'll be back when I tried it. So, it seemed to work pretty good with that. So, I added a little water. I hope this works. Looks like it's pigmenting really weirdly. Like, I don't know if you can see that on camera. But it looks like orange moss over a lake. That was probably a really bad idea. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to try this. It does not look good at all. Gross. Um, yeah, no. Not doing that. No, retrying. Okay, guys. So, I'm just going to put the horse back there. I have my paint from earlier. And I'm, I've decided that I'm going to shade her. Um, just using my mixture here with a little bit of brown. So, I'm just going to pick that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, off track here. I'm just going to add some more, but this time add a little more brown. Just so it gets a little bit darker. Just a little. Okay, guys. So, I have my paint here. I'm just going to mix it. Okay, guys. So, I'm just going to start on painting the model. Oh, jeez. Okay. It looks like it's not really dark enough. Um... Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go... You know, actually... Can you guys see a difference? I can, a little bit. Maybe it's just because this lighting up because it's dry. Most likely, so I'm gonna add a little more brown here. Just a little, because we don't want too much. Because that might mess it up. Alright, that's a little darker now. So, gonna try to use this. Okay guys, so, um, off camera I did a ton of shading. But, I don't know if you can see it on camera. But, I think it looks really good. Um, there's still some rough shading spots, but overall I really like it so far. So guys, I just got done eating while this was drying. I did quite a bit of shading here. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I like how it looks a lot. So next, I'm just going to be doing the main tail. So for the tail, I'm using this big brush. Mixed a little um, cream e color. So yeah, I'm just going to paint the tail and main now. so far I think I'm going to do the legs now um, and fix up the little mistakes that I made <laughs> looks I think it's turning out really good so I think I'm gonna do the hoofs now <laughs> 
Fixed up a couple details from the shading. Um, I think it's looking super good. Like, wow, I was not expecting this. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting this. So, um, what I'm doing next is just her face details, and then I'll be done. <laughs> So, I did the face details. They aren't my favorite, but they're decent. Um, over here in the camera, there's like a little bit there. That's just because I applied a fresh fresh layer of paint there. Um, because I messed up a little on the eye, and the other eye is pretty good. Um, the nostrils are weird, but the mouth's fine. Um, so, now I'm just going to do the horseshoes, and... Yeah, and then I then I actually think I'm done. All right, guys, meet Ginger Snap. Gave her a little stripe. Um, and the horseshoes. I really like her, and this turned out super good. Like especially for my first time repainting a horse. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, all those YouTube things. And I'll see you next time on Wednesday's video. Bye!